What's going on guys, Danny with Gear Canning. Today we've got a special product on the show. I've been waiting on this Ledger Nano S now for about, I wanna say three weeks or so. It's a hardware-based cryptocurrency wallet. If you don't know what cryptocurrency is, we'll go over that real quick, but we're gonna open this thing up right now. So before we dive into the Ledger Nano S, Let's talk about cryptocurrency just a little bit. So the most famous cryptocurrency out there is Bitcoin. I'm pretty sure the majority of my viewers at least have heard of it. It's a digital currency that's handled by computers around the world. Many people thought that Bitcoin was just gonna be some fad, it's just nerd money, it's a hobby. Bitcoin is now sitting at about $2,400 dollars per coin is being invested all over the place banks are getting into it investors with lots of money are getting into it millionaires all everybody's starting to get into bitcoin but more so than bitcoin there's altcoins altcoins are everything that's not bitcoin now there's about 500 plus altcoins out there but the top 10 are almost all included in this wallet. There's three kinds of cryptocurrency wallets I wanna discuss in this episode. The first and the least secure is going to be a quote unquote hot wallet. A hot wallet is basically a wallet that you can access from your phone, from any computer in the world, usually sits on some sort of trading exchange or a platform where you can buy cryptocurrency. Now, most of these wallets are secure. A lot of companies now are taking extreme measures in verifying their customers, where they live, driver licenses, all types of stuff to prevent hackers from hacking these, these, uh, these wallets. But you still have to be kind of paranoid with it. At the end of the day, those are servers that are always gonna be online and they're holding your money. Some exchanges have actually shut down just completely out of business. That is probably the worst case scenario. Most of them tell you that they're insured and, and your, your money is safe or whatever, but in most cases, when you read that fine print, it's only 1% of your wallet that's actually insured. So if you've got a lot of money in there, uh, you're only getting 1%. So that is the least secure wallet you could possibly have. The benefits are it's extremely convenient. You can access your funds from anywhere. You don't have to go through hoops to access it if you're trying to do some, something with those coins. But again, it's a hot wallet, so do not leave a lot of coins in there. Just leave enough that if you lost it, it wouldn't be a big deal. The second is what I'm gonna call a hot cold wallet. A hot cold wallet is a software wallet that you install on a desktop or a laptop that you store your cryptocurrency on. Now, the reason why I call it a hot cold wallet is because when you're using that machine, the wallet is online, it's, it's susceptible to attack. If your machine gets attacked, a hacker can access that wallet. So when it's online, it's a hot wallet, it's open to, to you know, malicious attempts. And when it's powered off, it's a cold wallet. It's no longer susceptible to attack because it's not online and nobody can get to it. And last but not least is the hardware wallet. This brings us to the Ledger Nano S. What a hardware wallet is, is a separate device that you plug into a machine like a desktop or a laptop. You transfer your coins to that hardware and once you're done, you disconnect it and it's no longer online at all until you reconnect that thing into another machine. So a hardware wallet is the most secure wallet out of the three as you go down that tier that I just explained more and more security added to your funds. So let's go and open this thing up. Pick up the plastic here. Cool little box, very Apple S design. I'm liking that, Ledger Nano S. See what we got on the back, Ledger Nano S, hardware wallet. So straight off the bat, we got some cryptocurrency in the back, Bitcoin and Ethereum. The top two cryptocurrencies right now, so it would make sense for them to put that there. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside. Nice little welcome, paperwork. Ledger devices are engineered to be tamper-proof. So that's cool. That's why they didn't put any uh, any sort of real plastic on this thing. They're basically saying that nobody can tamper with it. Getting started, Ledger Nano S. The recovery sheet, so this is one of the things I really like about crypto wallets in general. If you were to, let's say, lose this wallet, you have what's called a passphrase, recovery passphrase, a sequence of words that you could use to restore the wallet back to its previous state. So here, in this case, we're gonna have 24 words, and what you do is, for at least the Ledger Nano, you power this thing up, and it's gonna give you that phrase. Now, it's gonna give you these words one time. That's it. You write those words down. You do not give this card, wherever you write the words, do not give it to anybody. If you give that to someone, they could buy another Ledger Nano S and restore your wallet to their uh, wallet and essentially have access to all your funds. Now on top of that, 
I'm sure there's some sort of a pin code or something that needs to be entered, so they still need to guess that part, but having anybody just have your wallet is pretty scary. There's the ledger itself. Now, if you notice, it looks like sort of a USB key with a little screen on it. And it's got two little buttons here, but for the most part, it looks like a little USB key. It looks like this is where you plug it into your desktop. I like that it has this little metal cover on it. That'll keep it safe from drops and things like that. Let's see what else is in here. We've got some sort of a lanyard for it. I guess that'll make it easier not to lose, so that's a good thing. Then we've got the, looks like a micro USB cable. Would have been nice if it was type C, because these things are probably gonna be obsolete in a few years. And I'm pretty sure I'll have this wallet for a good lifetime. All right, so I've got my laptop all set up here. We're on the ledgerwallet.com website. And let's go ahead and set this thing up. Select your ledger device from the list below. First steps for Ledger Nano S. USB cable, all right, so let's get that USB cable. So once we configure this thing, then we can add a wallet to it. So welcome, two buttons to confirm. Press both buttons to confirm or to continue. Okay, so let's press both buttons now. Figure as new device. Yep, choose a pin code. Next, write down your recovery phrase. All right, got the recovery phase and my device is now ready. Let's see if we can install some apps. Let's see Ethereum. All right, it looks like it's an extension to Chrome. Add your Ethereum wallet app. To connect, to begin, connect and unlock your Ledger wallet. There we go. Select the Ethereum chain to use. I have Ethereum, I'm only gonna use Ethereum. So Ethereum, ETH balance is zero, last operation. There you go. So here you can send, here you can receive. And there you go, pretty cool. All right guys, so I am now going to attempt to erase this thing. The way you do it is you put in three bad pin codes and once it does that, it's gonna erase itself and then we'll have to use the recovery sheet in order to recover it back to its original state. So I've did it once, one attempt remaining. I think I did it twice already. And I'm just gonna confirm, valid pin. Device has been reset. Three wrong pins. So it's now reset. To restore your device configuration, use your confidential recovery sheet. Restore configuration. Choose a pin code. Now it says, enter your recovery phrase. So this is the part where you whip out that recovery sheet and you enter 24 different words. All right, so after putting all those 24 words in, it took a long time. Uh, it looks like it went through. It says your device is not ready. So let's check now to see if we can access the wallet. Now I didn't transfer anything to the wallet, but I did write down the hex keys. So we're gonna verify that right now. All right guys, so let's go ahead and open the Ethereum wallet. There go. Ethereum, opening your wallet. And there you go. So I haven't transferred anything to this wallet, but it is the same as when I left it. So. We're good to go. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you own a Ledger 9 OS? What type of wallet are you using? I know there's a bunch of other hardware wallets out there. Let me know in the comments what you feel is the most secure and what your experience has been so far with your wallet. Please like the video if you're enjoying the content, guys. If you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification button right next to the subscription button. If you haven't subscribed, you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. I'll catch you guys in the next one.